Hey everybody, it's Vicki with Dementia with Grace. How's everybody doing tonight? I hope everybody is doing great. Let me tell you who I am in case this is the first time um, that you're here at the channel. My name is Vicki Noam Vidge. I am a social worker and a dementia practitioner and I have been um, in the game for now 28 years. <laughs> it's a long time. It seems like that's all I've ever done and you know, let me just tell you, it's been the blessing of my life to take care of people with dementia. Now, you are probably here because you have asked a question of Google or YouTube or one of your one of your um, uh, AI devices. Should I lie to my person with dementia? And it's a big question, and it absolutely fills the room. And I believe that yes, it is okay to lie to your person with dementia. So if you don't, if you have any qualms about it, you know, this is this might not be the video for you. But if you're wondering, you know, if you if you think, yeah, I think it's fine and I want to know your opinion, then stick around. And if you don't know one way or the other if it's if it's right or if it's wrong, let me tell you why I think that, you know, I don't think it's wrong. It may not be right but I don't think it's wrong and I want to tell you why. A person with dementia has a different reality than we do. They are thinking about things differently. They are seeing the world differently. They are certainly remembering things differently. Um, they are encoding and filing information in their brain differently. So a person with dementia hears something. If they're in, let's say, stage five, they hear something and it lasts maybe 20 minutes um, that they have heard that. And sometimes if you're any lower than five or deep into stage five is what I'm talking about. I'll put a link to the stages up here. Um, but if they are that, that far along in their dementia journey, then they are not going to remember the truth that you told them. And so the next time they ask the question, you're going to have to tell them the answer again. So imagine that your mother is in heaven. Um, your mother has died. Your mother has passed away, passed over. And you know that, but you go to bed and you forget it. And you wake up the next morning and you are wondering where your mother is. And somebody said, oh, she died. She's dead. And you know she's died. You know she, you know she died. She died. Um, or they would say, oh, I'm so sorry to tell you, but you know, your mother has, has passed away. She passed away 20 years ago. And in your mind, you're like, 20, what? My, I saw my mother yesterday. She didn't die 20 years ago. I don't, I don't know what is up with you. What, what, what kind of, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know that you're even telling me the truth. There's no way my mother died 20 years ago. Now you may be, you may think I'm somebody else, but my mother, I talked to her on the phone yesterday. So you get that kind of response to their reality. And think about if you woke up every day and ask that same question. What was that um, like Groundhog's Day? But the one I'm thinking about is um, the one that had Drew Barrymore in it. Um, anyway, her and Adam Sandler. And every day she woke up and she had no memory. And then people would tell her, you know, things and she would go on first dates and things like that again. So anyway, that was nice, but there was also some, um, some bad things that they had to tell her. And then every day they would have to tell her. And it reminded me so much of a journey uh, of a person with dementia. So I believe in telling them what jives with their reality, right? They don't want to hear that their mother has died. They are in a position in their dementia where they need to believe that their mother is alive. They need to believe that they've talked to her or seen her in the last few days, that she's safe, that she's somewhere, um, you know, that they can get to. So what I say is there's ways to do it where you don't lie, okay? You could say, I haven't seen her lately. I'm not sure. I haven't seen her lately and leave it. I haven't seen her today, leave it. Um, and then, but usually, you know, you'll come up with, well, I wonder when she's gonna call and you start this anxious loop uh, in their in their mind. So I don't do any of that. I say, um, she's safe. What do you need to talk to her about? Or um, did you have something to tell her? Or um, you just checking to make sure she's okay? Okay, yeah, she's safe. She's safe. Um, and, you know, leave it at that. 
you can make up a bigger story and say, she's safe, she's still at work, she'll be home in a little while. Sometimes that works. And I have done a combination of all of it. If the person is early enough in their dementia, if they're stage two or stage three, maybe some stage fours, I might gently tell them the truth. But usually at that point, they still, they know that information and they'll say, they'll say it differently. They'll say a question like, you know, I haven't heard from my mother in a long time and I'm wondering, you know, if, if she has died and I have forgotten that piece of information. In that case, you could say, yeah, you know, Mr. Jim, she has, she has passed away. Um, you know, you are 83 um, and so, um, you know, I, you probably don't feel that old. You don't look that old. Um, but, um, yeah, I don't know when she passed away, but she passed away some time ago. Um, but tell me about your mother. Tell me some things about her. What's got her on your mind today? And then go into it like that. So that's the way that you would do that. All right. Very good. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I'm very responsive to the questions. Um, I try to get with it, you know, to get back to the questions in a, in a very short amount of time. We have a um, Facebook support group. It's called Dementia with Grace Caregiver Support Group. It's over there on Facebook. I will leave the link below um, so that you can, um, so that you can uh, find it over there on Facebook. Um, I have a book available, Dementia with Grace, A New Positive Way of Dealing with Behaviors in People with Dementia. It's available on Amazon. I have an Amazon storefront where I, uh, where I put things like um, these wipes and these shampoo caps that I'm trying, I'm trying out to see um, if they're the best. Here's the wipe. Um, I'm trying to, trying to see if they're the best things for people with dementia. There's a storefront over there and it is, the storefront is Dementia with Grace. I'll leave a link here for that too. Everywhere, Instagram, TikTok, everywhere I am Dementia with Grace. I've not done anything on TikTok yet, but I will. I'm getting there. Okay. All right. If you have any questions or you want to hear a specific video, leave it down below. I'm very responsive to those questions and the, the, um, the asks that you have for, um, for uh, new videos. Okay. All right. I think that's all. I hope to see y'all soon. See you soon here on the video or over on the group. Okay. All right. I love y'all. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Bye. Mwah.